Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today we have Pet Petai Daily Update. We are going to see the next targets. And before we continue, do not forget to join our monthly subscription because trust me, now is the time to join. Inside the 2023, we are going to have the next bull cycle for PTC. Let's go right now and see the target. So Fed, we talked about that Fed is very likely to meet the 0.36 before it has any major correction. Right now you can see Fed is in an impulsive wave mode in the daily frame and in an impulsive wave mode, of course, in the lower time frames. It doesn't want to go down. For now, it is finding kind of a nice resistance right here. You can see why, because Bitcoin had a mini correction and a mini pump. But in general, what we are seeing for Fed, it is a very, very nice higher low pattern that we do not lose. Okay, so you can see in the lower time frames, we are just having bullish pattern formations. We cannot leave the 20 day MA. Look at that right here. We just ride this yellow line. And for me personally, Fed can manage to go to the 0.36 before it has a major crash. Now, some people would argue that, Bill, we are having these multiple bearish pennants. Okay, you can see we have a bearish pennant, the very high risk in the daily frame. Yes, it does. And yeah, I'm not taking these long positions so easily. To be honest with you, I do not waste any time when I see the RSI above the 80s in the daily frame, I exit the market. But for FED, because it is in an impulsive wave, because in the weekly scale it can pump more, I think that we are going to see the 0.36 before we have a major correction. Now, at 0.36, you should be exiting immediately as we talked about. What you should be watching into the lower time frames. Let's assume that I'm going right here. I'm going to draw the FIB from this bottom to this top. Now, for Fed, if we lose this position right now, oh, okay, I think that it sounds pretty nice right here. Okay, we got it. If we lose the support level of around 0.22, then you should be exiting as well. So if you are in a long position from here or from there, 0.22 should be your stop win. Or if you want to enter a long position, 0.21 should be your stop loss. Okay, why is that? Because eventually this is our bull band support level for the lower time frames. If we lose that, there is a chance before we achieve the 0.36, we go to have a healthy correction to the downside. 0.36 will be achieved for FET, but at this point, at the point 36, as we talked about, there is a huge resistance level that you should be exiting. And the best case scenario that we talked about in the previous update for FET, it is that we go to the point 61. This is the best case scenario ever for FET. I do not know if we are going to do this. We have to watch FET pretty, pretty closely for now, and we have to see if it can manage to pull it through and go all the way up higher. We will have to wait and see what we are going to do. In the meantime, the 0.36, look at how beautifully the 0.618 is here as well, is a very major resistance level for FED that you should not be ignoring. Okay, so today we are kind of sideways, a little bit bearish, a little bit bullish. It doesn't uh, make sense right here, but I am waiting a correction for BTC, so you should be careful with long positions in any way. For the holders of around here or there for, for FED, you should be exiting the market at 0.36, closing above the 0.36, exit at 0.62. Do not forget to join our monthly subscription. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day and see you soon. Bye.